everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at this special, special, special snowflake, uh, Riley Dennis. It's a new video about how we can avoid being bigots. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Hi there! Are you tired of being called a racist, a misogynist, a white supremacist, a Nazi, a homophobe, and a transphobe? No, because I don't get called those things. Um, I haven't been called those things yet. I have heard you guys call a lot of people those things, but I've never personally been called those things. Um, but mind you, you think everybody is all those things. But uh, no, personally I'm not offended by that, no. So, let's go. Continue. Then you need to learn how to be a politically correct bigot. You see, the days of being able to shout racist and sexist slurs from the rooftops are over. People are too politically correct now. It's like for some reason people don't like blatant hatred being spewed everywhere. I well, that is because none of us really care. Uh, you are the one that's spouting all the hatred. Every video you have is fuck white people and stuff like that. And to be quite honest, all us sensible people go, fuck it, we just now take the piss out of you because you're a man. <laughs> oh my god. That is a man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, we don't have fucking gender laws here in Britain, so I am fully going to say you are a dude. Seriously, dude. So, uh, you are an asshole, right? Um, and you're trying to be, like, patronisingly, you're being a bigot. Yeah, yeah, bigotry's cool, but you've got to be how to be. This is, you're now just a piss take, because you're now a fucking parody of yourself. And I'm now just going to... Just obliterate you. Right, let's do this. I don't get it. But anyway, because of this new climate of tolerance and acceptance, you have to be more careful with your words if you happen to be a skeptical, rational, free thinking, patriotic American like me. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you were intending that to be that funny, but that was just fucking hysterical. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut that out, maybe. Oh, no, fuck it. Hold on. Oh, right. Okay. I don't even think there's any point in trying to fucking. Oh, you're right. Okay, so, um, you. <sighs> you're a man. Seriously. That's all you can really say. You're a dude belong here. You're in a heterosexual relationship with a chick. You still get a dick and she is a chick. You're in a heterosexual relationship regardless if she's a lesbian and you're a transgender and I use air quotes, woman. Right, so your average American, the way you think, well you're like the same, you're not fucking sane. And anyway, I'm pretty sure gender dysphoria is a mental illness. So, that's why I found that extremely hysterical. Well, it was, it was properly funny. And it caught me right off guard, so excellent. Anyway, you're an idiot. Let's continue. Don't worry though, I've got your back. Here's how you can learn to be a politically correct bigot. Number one, don't call black people the N-word, just call them thugs. Why? Why is that a problem? They call each other that word all the time. Consistently. Right? You hear it through all rap music, you hear it through everything, right? They all call each other all the time. They refer to us. I have a black friend who would quite happily turn around and call me that, right? And I'm not offended. In fact, I find it quite fucking, like, well, thanks very much, man. Right? Right, it's a saying of respect, you know what I mean? I'm probably one of the only people who could probably get away with using that word with him, but I don't because I don't find it a necessity. But, uh... Why would you call them thugs as well? That's st that's gender stereotype. That sorry, no, that's racially stereotyping black men, isn't it? 
right? Because you're putting this out as a parody of what we are, or the rational, sane, sensible people, and now you're just making it like an instructional video on how to have gender bias, or uh, sorry, racial bias. So I can't go over the fact that it's a man pretending to be a girl, right? Uh, if you want to be a girl, that's fine, and be gay and date a man, right? Absolutely, that is 100% your choice. I'm totally cool with that. Not an issue on my part. However, the irony of your situation is that you are a man in a who's pretending to be a woman in a relationship with a lesbian. This is so this is a chasing Amy kind of moment with weird kind of things happening, right? A straight guy going after a lesbian pretending to be a woman to get said lesbian. And then makes YouTube videos trying to teach people how to be less racist but still be bigoted. Does that sound about right? Yeah, okay. Anyway, let's uh, carry on. We all know that white people should be allowed to say the n-word, but in today's political climate, you just can't. Too many triggered snowflakes out there. So instead, just call them thugs. It's just as racist on the inside, but sounds less racist on the outside. Number two, instead of saying that you hate people of color, just say that you support national security. The trick here is that nobody can disagree with wanting national security. So anyone who criticizes you will look like an asshole. Then you can build a huge wall on the southern border and ban people from the Middle East and say it's for national security, even though those things won't actually make I guess any safer. <laughs> I don't know if you can I started laughing like <laughs> right in the beginning of that. Oh, I can't take this seriously at all. I just can't. It's. Oh, fucking idiot. <sighs> right, so, uh, right. That is a really, 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 really wide spectrum to see things on, right? Now, anybody that says they're interested in national security, you're implying that they're now talking about people of colour and races. You're implying that they're racist because they're concerned about security, which is an actual concern of rational, sensible people. Now, I honestly don't get why you are trying to push, push this narrative on everyone. It's just, you're now trying to make everybody out to be a racist who actually has genuine concerns. And I have a feeling, however this continues on, this is going to be recurring throughout the rest of this. You're just going to make every little thing that is said and genuine reasons for being concerned about things like our security because of the open border schemes and that like in uh, the United Kingdom wow right um, you're trying all this over you've got that in the states we're letting all these everybody in and they're not getting vetted properly they're not getting checked out and we're letting the people who are criminals and not just because they've entered illegally are the criminals or people who have entered in and they've circumnavigated the legal system in some way or the other they're illegal immigrants regardless and they're they're criminals that way alone but some of these people have heinous 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 back uh, it's like a well their life story leads like a demon's resume you know some of these guys are sadistic and twisted and don't care who they hurt or what they do to people you, have you seen some of these things Jesus Christ and you're just trying to make anybody who is concerned about this out to be a racist because of this. I was starting to take the piss out of you, but now you're just pissing me off. <sighs> On reflection, you're not as funny as I thought you were. I need to lay off the, the herbs. Anyway, let's continue.
important part is they look like they'll make us safer and they'll keep people of color out. It's a win-win. Number three, if you want to lead a harassment campaign against someone, make sure that you display a disclaimer saying that you don't condone harassment. You see, an old-fashioned harassment campaign is seen as offensive nowadays. Something about bullying marginalized people or some shit like that. So instead of telling people what you're doing, just do all of the same things, but don't say that you're doing it. Essentially, you want to make it easy for your hundreds of thousands of followers to go harass someone by giving them all the information they need, but not actually directly telling them to do it. If you make it easy enough for them, they'll do it whether you tell them to or not. And this way, you can avoid any responsibility. It's like putting a really tasty treat in front of a hungry dog and then telling the dog that it shouldn't eat the treat. It's still gonna do it, but then it's not your fault because you told it not to. Number four. Right, well, that was a fucking nice dig at all of us, wasn't it? Oh, that was a fucking real dig towards us. No wonder fucking... I am, I, no wonder people don't like you. I imagine there's going to be a lot of videos responding to this. Oh. Better make sure my title's catchy. But fucking hell, really? Dude, that's harsh, man. Yes, I have a disclaimer in front of my videos because I don't want anybody to rash you. You give out stupid ass opinions. We are entitled to retort. We are. People outside your fucking echo chamber, you need to hear what we have to say. You need to hear the fucking other side of the fucking coin. And I'm sorry, the only way that you would listen is a response video. Apparently, you do. And if people decide they want to tell you the same thing, as you're right, it is not our fault. We have told them not to, and we do not condone that. That's why we put the disclaimer not only in the front of the videos, well, I personally, in the front of the videos, but I also put one in the description as well for that purpose, because I don't want people to harass you. I'm fully able to respond and talk to you myself. Right? Now, I, I do not have hundreds and thousands of followers, I, I wish. Right? But the people who subscribe to me are people of sense and logic and reason. Probably a little bit of sense of humour as well, on occasion. Right? However, we're not likely to go and harass you, we just agree with the fact that your opinions are fucking shit. Now, you're more within your rights to have said opinions, and by all means, this is just my personal opinion. Yes, personal. My personal opinion is that you're the one who has the problem because you live inside this fantasy world where everybody else on the outside is racist and bigoted, but we're not. We're just people who look at all the shit that you have been force-fed and then now you're re-spewing, regurgitating out into the, into the world through your YouTube channel. And we, in turn, have heard said bullshit and think, hang on a minute, that isn't right. So, my whole point is, we do not condone harassment, we do not send people to you. Yes, people will go and probably send you messages, but that's what the block thing is for. You use that enough, you blocked me. You did. And then your, and your Twitter account get shut down. Wonder why. I haven't even bothered checking right now to see if we've got your account back up and running again. But, uh. If you have. By the time if this goes up and you have your account back up again, cool. No doubt you'll block me in the next last one, too. Totally. Anyway, let's continue. Don't call people feminazis, just call them feminist extremists. Back in the day, feminazi was a perfectly good insult. You could dismiss the arguments of any annoying feminist with just one word. But now, thanks to PC culture, we have to use two words. Feminist extremist. Still, it's a good way to ignore the concerns of anyone who criticizes you, so I highly recommend using it. Number five. Dude. Seriously. But here's the funny thing out of this, you're actually acknowledging what you what they are, a feminist extremist. Even though you're doing this in a patronising and condescending way, right, making it that we're all bigots because we say feminazis because it's actually a really fucking accurate description of how they act. I mean, they want to exterminate men. What's, what's more Nazi about that? 
seriously, the Nazis want to exterminate the Nazis almost succeeded in exterminating the Jews. Feminists are almost succeeding to try and exterminate men. Right? I don't see much of a difference in comparison, so... Even feminist extremists still means they're extremists, still means they're fucked in the, in the head. Because the majority of women, sensible women, look at fucking the ones on the internet that say feminism's stupid. The ones that have recently taken the red pill is quite amusing. But anyway... Dude. You think it's funny, you think it's great, no, you're just going to say, we're just going to use, see those extremist feminists, uh, those feminazis, that's all that's going to happen out of this one. You've just given us more words to use to call you. Right, anyway, carry on. Instead of saying that you hate trans people, just say that you wouldn't date them. Thanks to all the liberal, leftist, communist transgenders out there, it's now not okay to hate someone just because they're trans. That's ridiculous. You know it, I know it, we both know it. So to get around this, just say you would never date a trans person. It's a good way of getting your message across without explicitly saying it. Plus, if anyone criticizes you, you can just call them a rapist and claim that they're trying to force you to have sex with a transgender person. Because remember, implicit bias is fake news. Numbers. Hey, retard. Yeah, you, you retard. Fuck's sakes. Right. Uh, right, okay. I'm, I'm trying to imply that just because you wouldn't date somebody who was trans, not because they are a trans person, because you're not biologically attracted to, let's for example, see yourself. You identify as a trans woman. I wouldn't date you because you have far too much cock for that, right? I am a heterosexual man, sorry, cis, white male, identify as man, I have a female partner, I'm attracted to women, right? You are not a woman, you are a man, I am not sexually attracted to a man. Do I hate you? No. Would I be friends with you? Absolutely. Would I want to stick my penis in you? Would I fuck? No, no, no. Not at all. As I said, you are a man. A transgender man. For example, a woman who went to a male. Her aim goal is male. And I am not attracted to males. So, would I, do I hate her? No. Would I be friends with her? Or sorry, him? Absolutely. Would I stick my dick in them? No. Does that make me a bigot? No. Does that make my sexual preferences bigoted? No. Does it make me transphobic? No. I'll share a beer with you. Man, man I'll even drink out the same cup as you. I don't give a shit, right? Man, not a problem. I don't... I am not in that way inclined. But I do not find you sexually attractive. I do not find male to female transitions personally my thing. And yes, I do believe in a one night stand situation, informed decision would be okay. By the way, I used to be a man. That would change the outcome of some nights, I would imagine. Personally, never experiencing that. I can only assume. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, but uh, I am not a bigot. I am not transphobic. I just don't want to fuck a dude. Right, and why would a transgender man, right, want to fuck me? Because they are obviously transgender to, uh, transitioning into, men, into the masculine rather than the feminine. So why would they be interested in another masculine man? Because no offence, I ain't no fucking beta. Just saying. Anyway, number six.
Six, don't call yourself a white supremacist. Just say that racism doesn't exist and that people of color are ruining our country. White supremacist has all sorts of negative connotations now. White nationalist is sometimes okay, but not always. The easiest way around this is just to say that you have white pride and to complain about reverse racism and white genocide. Talk about the evils of multiculturalism. Laugh about the people of color who will die because of environmental racism and yell at people when they don't speak English. But if anyone calls you a white supremacist, you deny it. The label might fit, but it's not politically correct. Number seven. Right. Again, you are just taking everything that uh, is said in out of reason in factual support, and you're taking that and using that as to say we're all white. We're covering up the fact we're white supremacists, and then this whole bullshit in the middle between those things. Right. I can safely say. I'm not a white supremacist, right? And I'm just going to just say it, right? I'm not a white supremacist because the fact is white is not supremacy. White is servitude, the way this is going. Right? Evergreen College. The people of colour just out there for the whole world to see displaying themselves as the, 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 the hateful racists that they are. Now Morgan Freeman turned round to someone, was it? It wasn't Hannity, it was the other one that just been fired and said to him, when are we just going to stop saying that I'm a black man and you're a white man and we're just men? Was it not again? I see I paraphrased them, I don't know if that's exactly what they said. But it is along those lines, again with Martin Luther King. Would judge a man by the, the sense of his worth, not the colour of his skin. Right? This is the problem. The people at Evergreen are giving off a sense of self worth that they haven't earned. Because, and if you don't believe me, please look this up. I'll probably leave a link in the description. About the same time the African people were being oppressed, Europeans were being oppressed as well. We were being oppressed into slavery. White, oh yes, the white slaves of Barbary. I will leave a link in the description and I swear to God you can go and look it up yourself. Don't just trust my links, type it into Google, white slavery, and it will appear. Right, so again, you're just trying to make out that everything that rational people say, right, is racist, bigoted, blah, 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 motherfucker, right? And that's what you're doing. Right, however, you're just making out is that you're the idiot because you're just taking common sense things and trying to force the issue that they are racist things. Now, well, some things people say can be a little bit on the racist side, right? I'm not going to comment on that, right? That's just that's not my place to comment on that one, hmm? Because sometimes from both sides of the coin, it can be very funny. Right, as from the, 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 the person of colour taking the piss out of the white man, right, and vice versa. Both interactions can be quite amusing to a certain degree, and then it goes too far, and then arguments happen, but blah, 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 blah. The initial interactions between both can be quite amusing. Right, but in the sense of, should that be allowed? Of course it should, because people, if we stop talking about race and religion and all that stuff, and be, well, sorry, forget religion, tell religion, I see being an atheist. Religion is just pointless. I mean, I stopped believing in fairy tales a long, long time ago. And to be honest, I just every time I hear religion, I think George Carlin going, religion has managed to convince the world that there's a big invisible man in the sky who watches over you day and night and is really concerned about what you do while you're sleeping, especially who it's with and whether you're naked with him or not. Right, I've always got that running in the back of my head thinking about religion because it is a joke. Anyway, digressing off of things. Stop, you're saying. This, when we stop talking about race as the black people, white people, brown people, Asian, and we're just people, that's when racism dies. When we stop talking about racism, that's when racism truly ends. When we stop talking about it. And when people of narrow minds and narrow views of the world who live inside an echo chamber of similar... similar can't even get the words out today. Similar views, right? 
who have no differing opinions and no outside sources of reference and let's say echo chamber everything's bouncing back and it's all the same and it's just reinforcing this narrow-minded stereotype of everybody and it's pounding and pounding and pounding and then you start putting out videos like this and we're already now up to number seven right anyway Instead of saying you support the alt-right, say that you're a centrist who just wants to hear both sides. This one's easy. People love centrists, even though it's a logical fallacy to claim that the two extremes are bad and the center is good. It's called an argument to moderation, look it up. But if you say you're a centrist, nobody can say that you're actually alt-right. And then all you have to do is ignore the left and constantly give a platform to the right. Make sure you challenge the left on all their ideas, but allow the alt-right to speak freely. It's genius, really. Say that you support free speech and hearing out both sides. People love that shit, and they won't even see how it works to empower the alt-right. And that, my friends, is how you can be a politically correct bigot. I hope- Fuck off, Riley. Seriously, go fuck yourself, go fuck yourself, go fuck yourself. Right, you just basically fucking described yourself, the alt-right and the alt-left. Right, I'm not a centrist, but I, I don't even know we call ourselves centrist flat in the middle. But I do refer to myself as kind of egalitarian. And I take it that's what you mean. People who sort of hit the centre road, who are a little bit left-leaning, a little bit right-leaning, when I have views on both sides of the fence. Right, so we're talking about fence centers here, like myself. I mean, yes, some of my views are slightly more right-leaning, but I'm still quite liberal in the majority of my views on things. But you have just... Oh, you're such an asshole. I mean, just... Oh, you frustrate the fuck out of me because you don't realise the shit that you spout because you're going on about putting forward free speech right putting that forward right and it's just to promote the right however all the right even though you call us alt-right and there is no alt-right in this at all I mean some people are probably far more right than they should be right there is some extremer rights the same as there's extreme feminists or as we like to call them feminazis Anyway, there is extreme rights, because there is definitely extreme lefts. And you are part of the extremer left, because you're spouting this social nonsense and garbage. But anyway, you you blocking down your, sorry, Antifa, BAM, BAM, whatever, they have been known to challenge free speech. Right, and we're not talking about free speech for right or free speech for left. We are honestly talking about free speech for all, and all you do is bang on about the fact in this video here, for example, that the, the left, the right trying to get free speech to even out is just to push the alt-right agenda. No, it's not. It's just the fact that we have a right to assemble peacefully and say we want to talk and that's all we want to do is talk and be heard and listened to and not be attacked with rockets or have homemade artillery and sticks and now apparently it seems guns as well now they've got the brain militia the brain actual ordinance actually guns to rallies now and whatever happens to the peaceful protest days when actual free speech action was happening when Berkeley was actually looking for free speech to happen. And that's why the Free Speech Act, is, that's why you have free speech. Because no matter whether we agree with your opinion or not, you have a right to it. You have a right to say it. You have a right to voice it out into the world. You also have the right to have it challenged and people like myself who will happily challenge and then retort to well you and your opinions and again as i say these are only my opinions and that's why again i put a disclaimer in the description right and at the beginning of my videos when it comes to talking to you or talking about you anyway i believe this is what she's doing in wrapping up the video Hey, I called you she. Well done. Anyway, 
no point in going any further because this looks like the end of it so what I'll do is uh, th ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching if you like this video hit like if you want to leave a comment leave a comment and please do so subscribe um, my name is Alexander Kingsfallen and I'll see you in the next one Thank you.